Hey everybody, D Dog Dynamic Rainmakers Dave Raw here. May 27th, uh, Friday night, doing my regular courier run for the veterinarian medicine. Traffic has been really bad. Uh, and of course, tonight being a Friday night, if they tossed in one extra will call and it was in a place that's really bad because they're doing construction work and all sorts of fun things it put me back quite a bit but other than that uh, so far I'm heading down to what would be my uh, actual fourth stop tonight this is down fountain uh, for the last several nights they have been closed and no samples out so I don't know if they're closed this week but uh, probably by the time I get down there anyway, they'll, they'll be gone. It's almost 5.30 and I'm supposed to be there at 5.33. Nope, not, nope, nope. Uh, not going to happen. But anyway, um, that's what's been going on. Just doing my regular courier runs every night. It's a, Like I said, it's a Friday. And uh, this is the start of a three-day weekend, being the Memorial Day weekend. So people are out and being really crazy. They're trying to get home and they're trying to do other stuff. Getting ready for this three day weekend. Um, sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes traffic isn't too bad. It just depends on the way people are. I uh, got a note from my contracting company that's actually running this thing that I'm subbing under um, no routes on Monday so we have Monday off I don't know I, I doubt we get paid for it but we have Monday off um, since we get paid by the route run uh, but that's just the way it goes at least I'll be able to spend an entire day without having to do my regular 9 to 5 and uh, my route but um, starting to get some interesting uh, notes from people on their YouTube channels. People like Everything Apex, uh, talking about rates. People are not doing this stuff very um, business-like, and it's really hurting them a lot. Taking really cheap runs, not taking other things into consideration. I mean, you pay more than just fuel doing this. <laughs> you have to pay for your vehicle, your insurances, oh, everything else that's added on to this. So it adds up, guys. You got to keep all this stuff in mind. Uh, right now, our economy, as you know, is not doing too wonderful. And uh, that's putting a din ding on, um, on freight. Uh, it's not really hurting this type of stuff too much because they always need to have these things moved. And uh, since these are medical samples, they're either veterinarian or human medical samples. I haven't hauled any human for a while, but um, you know, those things are always being moved. Uh, so that kind of keeps this uh, flowing. So I had been looking at maybe getting a cargo van, but I don't know. If I get one, it's probably just going to be put back for later when things pick up. If they do, I hope they do. Uh, if not, maybe I'll just convert it to an RV. I don't know. Um, so doing things like that and trying to figure out the best way of approaching this. Um, what's good about this company I'm subbing under is they do give me a fuel surcharge. So that's an extra, I think, 20% beyond what we would usually get paid per route. It's not great, but it helps. Um, so this is really dinging this type of industry, especially for people that are doing... Uh, what they call expediting, like everything Apex is doing, and uh, folks like um, Big D and all his stuff. Uh, it's an issue right now because 
nobody wants to pay for getting this stuff moved, but they still want to charge outrageous amounts to people buying it. So what happens? This stuff sits there, but there's always going to be somebody that doesn't realize their worth. They'll go out there, put bids on stuff, just to get the run. And they get it, and they do it, and then they realize that they've done it for free, basically. All the all the stuff they would have brought in as profit is eaten up by expenses. So you got to keep that in mind when you're doing this stuff, guys. It's you know kind of basic basic business. Uh, I think this is one of the things people are forgetting is that this is not just a go get it and be done thing. This is a this is very uh, trying times for this type of industry right now. And if you're at the mercy of dispatchers and the mercy of, of um, brokers, you're not going to do too good because they're going to always go for the lowest bid, which most likely is going to be it's a good bid for them they keep their profits up because they're not doing anything in the way of actual moving stuff uh, but it really hurts everybody else because some of these rates up in here and somebody asked well is 65 cents a good amount per mile is 50 cents a good amount per mile well you gotta figure out something here how much does it cost to go those miles you can go out onto the internet and get basic information on wear and tear uh, calculations for your vehicle, how much it's going to cost per mile. Um, you can also try to figure out an overall cost per miles for your insurances, how much you're going to be paying for the actual loan on your van, if you have a note on your van or whatever you're using. And of course, your gas. The gas is something that's no longer a, a, a somewhat steady thing. It isn't it? Well, it's steady. It's steadily going up uh, all over the country, and the rates are all. But they're they're really spiking. Something is just not right. But they're really spiking. Everything's driving it up, and those costs get passed on to us, the drivers, and also the consumers, because it's worked into the how much they're paying for whatever is being moved, whether it be to an individual uh, consumer or an actual company or whatever. So keep your expenses in mind. Just don't go out there thinking you're, oh boy, you know, I'm getting 50 cents a mile, woo. Uh, no, it, uh, it depends on what your structure is. If you are using your own equipment, that's not good at all. And if you're driving for somebody and they're using their equipment, uh, I don't know. It depends on how it's working out for the insurances and the fuel costs, how they work that into your contract that you're running under. So you got to keep all these things in mind. You know, uh, a lot of people are sitting on their arse in the background not doing anything because they can't afford to take these really cheap rates, which are out there, and they're, they're stupidly low. Um, it's just it blows me away that people are taking these these stupidly low rates. I don't get it, guys. But if you get into a situation where you do a fixed route, or doing you know maybe like what I'm doing, uh, it can make sense. I'm not using a van or anything. I'm using a four door Jeep. Uh, for doing this stuff because I don't really need a lot of room for what I'm moving. But if I want to do light freight again or something of that nature, I'm going to have to really consider a van. I mean, I've been considering getting a van, but I just can't justify it right now. Uh, but like I said, if I can find one at a decent price that's in good condition, I might go ahead and get it anyway. Just because I'll have it. Uh, but we don't know what's going to happen with the gas prices as time goes on. If they're going to level out or just keep going up, keep spiking the way they are, uh, we're going to end up in a recession here pretty soon. 
and nothing's going to stop that. It has to be the, the consumers and everybody involved in this whole chain is going to have to start realizing what's going on. I think some of their excuses are invalid. Uh, they talk about, well, you got money from these stimulus checks. Well, you know, when you really think about it, if you spread that money out over a period of time, it is not much. Uh, it sounded like that. It was good when you got it, but, you know, as soon as you got it, you turned around and used it on something. Um, but, okay, that, you know, it can go on and on on this stuff. But you really got to realize your prices, your expenses, um, things of that nature. Because I can tell you right now, this is kind of a difficult time. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just really hard. It's just really hard, guys. Uh, you can do it. You can come into it. You might be okay. Depends on where you are and how long you're driving, where you're going, what you're moving. If you're on a fixed route, great. Um, you can kind of adjust on that. But if you're not, it's, it's a little bit harder to determine. So I just kind of wanted to go over what was going on. Um, I'm still waiting to hear on some various things. It's really getting me kind of somewhat depressed because I can't get results back from groups for some reason. I think they're looking at the economy as well. Um, but hey, you know, that's the way it is. And uh, let's just keep it moving, guys. And hopefully the singles start picking up in a positive direction for everybody. Okay, everybody have a good weekend. I'll be talking to you later. Bye.